So we've all heard about Doc Martens, the boots. Everyone knows about the boots, but today we're reviewing these. So let's see what they're like. Hi everyone, I'm Chris, and this is my channel Lifestyle with Chris. Today, I've got a Doc Martens review for you. So where did I decide to get myself a pair of these? So I was looking for something that I could use casually. I was looking for something that I could wear out and uh, I wanted to add a bit of colour to my outfit and this is the first thing that popped to my mind really uh, is Doc Martens. Now they've definitely seen a comeback in the past couple of years but they've always been there in the back definitely worn by certain types of people but they're definitely again becoming more stream just like they used to be. Um, arguably distinctive design you know when somebody's wearing them um, and you know they are Doc Martens. Unfortunately, yes, there are a lot of copies out there. I'm not too sure about how to distinguish between what's genuine and what's real, but the probably the easiest bet is just to buy them from a reputable retailer than a reseller or somebody online. So this is the Doc Martin Adrian. There it is. Um, what does it say on the box? Uh, Adrian in cherry red. Uh, these are a UK size seven. So that is my true size and they fit nice and snug and they've got the airwear technology sole on them. Now, in terms of the shoe, it's a fairly simple shoe really. Um, it's a smooth leather shoe in this kind of cherry red, um, stitched around the front as you can see with matching uh, cherry kind of, um, with cherry lacing as well, uh, cherry stitch, sorry. Um, it comes with this really, really distinctive uh, kind of tassel -y front uh, and double tassel to match as well. I really like that. That's what really distinguishes the this shoe, I think, this real kind of uh, general's moustache, I call it, and these two tass tassels. I think that's really, really cool. And uh, of course, the nice, thick, chunky Doc Martin sole. This is the kind of the gum clear one and it's got the yellow stitching around the edge. Now, as you can see, uh, that is clear cherry red all the way around. And I've worn these on the beach, I've worn these around, and they're, they're obviously, they are nicely worn in at the moment. Uh, not really showing any signs of good creases yet, but they weren't that hard or they were never really that comfy. You hear a lot about that about the boots, but these particularly didn't need a lot of wearing in. Um, these are made in Thailand, so these are not British made, um, if that's a thing for you. Doc Martin's famously made in the UK, but these ones are not. Uh, and they're quite open about that. They will tell you the ones that are British made. Even on the website, they have a separate section, uh, the British made shoe. Um, um, what was I saying? So yeah, they, they, they weren't very hard to wear in at all and they were never really showed me any form of discomfort. They've got a really nice kind of soft leather insert as you can see there and the sole is a standard Doc Martin sole. Um, hasn't really provided, given me any problems whatsoever. So I don't know what other people have had experience with these Doc Martin Adrians, but for me, perfectly fine. Size seven, my true size, so there was no need for me to size down on these. Um, I wear these with sports socks, I wear them with no socks, I wear them with full length socks, depending on the weather and depending on how I want to style them. And they are a fantastic shoe, a real, real fantastic shoe. A nice statement shoe as well, it really makes a difference to an outfit. I think a lot of people rave about Doc Martens and the first thing they think about is boots, but don't neglect the old fashioned loafer that they do. And they do some fantastic Chelsea boots as well, but I've got loads of those. And uh, I've got another a video uh, that I will be doing soon on some fantastic kind of uh, Chelsea boots so keep an eye out for that um, but this at first bog standard kind of loafer is a fantastic design and you can't beat it good size heel always good for the short people and if the guys that follow me um, I am shorter so I think that adds that additional height sometimes not that I need it but Sometimes, you know, it's there. It's noticeable when you put shoes on like this. So that's another thing. Maybe you want to buy them for that reason. But, yeah, fantastically comfy shoe. And you can style them however you want. I think they just tend to go with 
jeans, trousers, work, casual, out on the night out, and these will last for a long, long time. They've got a huge, good quality sole sole on them, nice rubber sole, so yeah. I think I paid £56 for these in the outlet store in Cheshire Oaks, so really can't moan at that. Probably another 30 to £40 pounds more in a mainline store or in season. But again, with Dot Martins, black, cherry red, something that will not go out of fashion. So one for the wardrobe, I would say. Uh, and if you want to see the matching one shoe, there you go. So yeah, my go-to shoe really, in terms of just easy to slip on and uh, if I don't want to, if it's maybe too hot for boots, these are a great addition to a summer shoe, really, I feel. Even though they are in this kind of deep, char dark cherry red, it still goes well in the summer, especially with kind of um, browns and khaki uh, kind of trousers. This is a real good colour for those. So these are a good all year round shoe, unlike the boots, which tend to kind of only come out in winter or when it's cold or whenever you go for a big long walk and it's muddy. These are good. So yeah, that is my review on these. Check out my review on um, my Dot Martin boots. Um, I've got a nice review on those. And also, if you've liked what you've seen today, just hit that subscribe button. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below about these, whether the cherry red is for you. Um, probably wasn't me to start off with. Took a bit of time to get in Houston, but sometimes you just gotta go for it. And I'm, I'm a big believer in pushing boundaries in your, out of your comfort zone because half the time you're worried about what people say and people think, but actually no one cares. So. Do whatever you want and do whatever makes you happy. That's the main thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.